scientists have always looked up to the sky with hope. With each new discovery that's made, it helps us to understand our place in the universe and whether we're part of something much bigger. With the billions of galaxies and over 700 quintillion planets that reside within the universe, the chances of there being life outside of Earth seem very high. If we're alone and we're special, then why create billions of other galaxies and planets? The planets that we're looking to explore are mainly Mars and Venus, along with moons such as Enceladus and Europa, which orbit Jupiter and Saturn. Going back, NASA's then chief scientist Ellen Stoffan claimed that by 2025, scientists will most likely discover prominent signs of life somewhere in the universe, saying that all of the data that NASA has gathered points towards us making a big discovery sometime in the near future. This announcement was made while she was speaking at a panel discussion, which heavily focused on NASA's search for habitable worlds. She said the following, I think we're going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade, and I think we're going to have definitive evidence within 20 to 30 years. We know where to look. We know how to look. In most cases, we have the technology, and we're on a path to implementing it, and so I think we're definitely on the road. End quote. John Grunsfield, who is a physicist and astronaut, carried on with the following. I think we're one generation away in our solar system, whether on an icy moon or on Mars, and one generation away on a planet around a nearby star. End quote. NASA has multiple missions going on at the moment whose job it is to search for signs of life. As mentioned, one of the places where scientists think there could be life is that of Jupiter and Saturn's moons, pointing out that Saturn's moon Enceladus could support life due to the ocean being around a billion years old, which researchers said places it in a sweet spot. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope was retired in 2018, but during its mission it revealed to scientists that pretty much every star in the sky hosts planets, many of which could have similar conditions to Earth. However, just because other planets aren't as similar to Earth though, it doesn't mean they can't host life. Researchers have been open about this discussion, and have said that when it comes to the universe it could be filled with weird and wonderful life forms, many of which may not look like anything we have here on Earth. Paul Hertz, who is the director of NASA's Astrophysics Division, described the Milky Way galaxy as being a soggy place. He said the following, we can see water in the debris that are going to become planetary systems around other stars, and we can even see comets being dissipated in other solar systems as their star evaporates them. Scientists have now said that we should be focusing on high sea and exoplanets. High sea and worlds are planets with thick and heavy atmospheres that are abundant with hydrogen, which allow for oceans to exist and flourish even under immense temperatures. This is the name given to many Neptunes that match the description of potential life-having planets. These planets tend to be fully composed of water with no continents, and often have permanent mist rising from the heated waters. Further research into exoplanets may reveal the truth to us within the next handful of years, as we develop and establish what we truly mean by habitable. Bjorn Benick from the University of Montreal claims that we as a species have far too high expectations, saying that there may be other ways of finding life that are not dinosaurs crawling around on the surface. Even though it's not the easiest thing to do, these mini-Neptunes can be tested. There are countless mini-Neptunes in space and based on their positions and surroundings, we will be able to creatively guess whether they have a chance of being habitable or not. According to scientists, even if only 5% of the mini Neptunes match the requirements, it would still give scientists an incredible number of planets to investigate. The TRAPPIST-1 solar system is being studied closely by researchers, in the hopes of finding more of these worlds. Dr. Nicky Mahudson from Cambridge's Institute of Astronomy said the following, This result greatly expands our chances of finding life. By using the host star, astronomers are able to estimate the mass of an exoplanet to determine whether it's made of gas or rock. 
but it's near impossible to determine whether it has a solid or gas core. But in 2019, and thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers were able to glimpse into the atmosphere of K2-18b, which has been labelled as one of these mini-Neptunes and discovered evidence of clouds and water vapour. Just last year, it was announced that there's a possibility that one of these mini-Neptunes could have enough water to sustain earthly life. In Dr. Niku's words, For the first time, we demonstrated that planets can be significantly larger than Earth, and still have livable conditions. The desired outcome for astronomers is to find an Earth-like planet on which we could thrive, to find the ideal Earth to win which unfortunately is much easier said than done. Considering this planet would be around the same mass as Earth, the same size orbit and neither too far from the host stars the oceans would freeze, or too close for the oceans would boil. While planets such as K2-18b could surely have Earth-like life on them, Mahatsuna stated it's best not to assume that these planets' conditions would be suitable for humans. Currently, the task is to find alien life, not to find another suitable habitat for ourselves. These mini-Neptunes are in between being a gas giant and a rugged dwarf, small versions of our huge icy planets. Unfortunately, as mini-Neptunes are far from us, we have not developed a way to study them up close, thus shrouding them in mystery. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.